Good afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Tuesday the 3rd of October 2023 and tonight we are off back to the International Stadium. It is Gateshead versus Wealdstone in the National League. So here I'm in Gateshead and uh, going into this game this evening, uh, Wealdstone are currently in 15th place in the National League table, uh, having a bit of a mixed time with it. So now it's safe to say, but uh, one thing that they're not doing is uh, taking any hammerings off anyone. So uh, I think uh, that'll be the same tonight. I think they'll give us a good close game. But then again, it is a part-time team travelling all the way up from London on a Tuesday night. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of a difference that makes i'm not sure if uh, they've if they've uh, just traveled up today or if they've come up last night and uh, just trained to my local estate or whatever i uh, really don't know but uh, all the same stuart maynard has done a very good job with that side uh, like to say that they are a part-time team and uh, most of the time they've never really anywhere anywhere near any relegation troubles uh, they seem to do all right, and of course, uh, last season when we played them, uh, it was um, it was victory for the away side in both matches. Of course, they came up here in the early part of last season and uh, picked up a one 0 win, whereas we went down there in January and uh, picked up a two one win. Um, so, yeah, uh, we'll see when the sides have met. It has been close either way, and uh, as I say, I'm expecting that again tonight. And uh, speaking of us, we are in four, uh, in fi fifth place. Sorry, uh, that is following a three-one loss on Saturday away to Bromley. In my absence, which uh, I'm not going to lie, we have a pretty awful record at Bromley anyway. So I think any anything from there was just going to be a bit of a bonus more than anything. But uh, we go into this week uh, with back-to-back -back home games again. Uh, it's a bit of just the thing about uh, the, the way the fixtures have been very weirdly organised but uh, Wheelstone tonight altering them on Saturday I mean personally uh, I think it probably would have made more sense if those two games were the around obviously altering them uh, being not too far from uh, Manchester and uh, obviously Wheelstone being in London uh, surely it made more sense for Altley to come up here tonight in Wheelstone on Saturday but uh, it is what it is and uh, you know what it could be something that might work in our favour. Uh, I think there's a lot of cuds, cuds and mites about this at the minute. But uh, all the same, uh, I, I am, um, I'm fairly hopeful anyway that the lads can uh, go out there and uh, put on a good show and uh, bounce back from Saturday. I'm sure. Um, like it's, it's, it's a bit strange really because they have not been beaten for quite a while but uh, I think uh, what we sort of have seen in uh, previous times I've been beaten so far this season is in the following game we have gone out and put put up a response in terms of the performance and uh, hopefully uh, we can do that once again tonight let's head on down to the international stadium and find out how it all unfolds so the team's warming up at Wheelstone getting ready just here um, of course, they're going to be in blue shorts, but I'm not entirely sure if they are wearing their traditional blue home kit or it's going to be like a chain strip of some sort. We'll find out in due course. And we're getting ready uh, just here. They're, of course, going to be in our white and black home kit. Um, anyway, I'll see you when the players are coming out of the tunnel and ready to start the match. Yeah, the 
There's only one to be led by. Young kids, let's stay on my mind. They play football the way, the way we should. Oh, yeah. So, oh, oh, oh. Keep us always off blinders against us. Half time gates said nil, Wheelstone nil. Uh, we would be winning, but uh, it has to be said that their goalkeeper is having an absolute blinder, and it just seems every time we face Wheelstone, uh, the goalkeeper has does have a blinder. I mean, uh, I know we uh, won down there in uh, January, but uh, if it wasn't for the goalkeeper performance, uh, we probably would have won that game, like, probably four or five, one or something like that. And uh, kept getting the same sort of vibe off this game tonight. But uh, I think uh, we've got, you know, the right ideas going forward. And uh, you can't say we've not been effective with our shooting, like the amount of shots we have actually had on target it's uh, just about uh, just got to keep testing him and uh, hopefully before long uh, something's gonna end up in the back of the net but uh, Wheelstone have looked the part a little bit uh, every time they've gone forward and uh, do look as though there could be a threat so uh, yeah we've just got to be wary of that as well but I'd say up to now we are in a sort of reasonable amount of control of the game it's just about uh, making it count from here. What the hell are we doing? This is in this. Yeah. Thank you. 
Just for a change, when Gates had a Gates had a trying to say out something that's pretty slender, there's going to be a, quite a bit of added time, and it is six minutes. Full time gates had two wheelstone one. Uh, it's the first time this season where we've won and uh, we've maybe had to grind it out a little bit. But uh, to be honest with you, I'm kind of glad that we've shown that we do have that side to us as well. Because uh, I mean, it's all well and good uh, when you have games like uh, the Kidderminster game, the Maidenhead game, the Oxford City game, whatever, where uh, you win and it's all fine and dandy and that. But it's maybe when things maybe aren't going your way as such and you still manage to pull it out of the bag that you know, separates that, 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 that separates the good teams from everyone else and uh, yeah we've uh, shown we can do that tonight I think first half we maybe did play quite well actually and uh, I think as I alluded to we're a little bit unlucky that we didn't go in ahead of half time it was just uh, sort of a few wonder saves from their keeper well second half uh, I don't know what happened at the start of the second half. We just seemed to really lose our way. Like we've been pretty sloppy on the ball. Uh, Wheelstone always looked pretty dangerous on the counter attack, and uh, it almost seemed as though we needed them to score to give us that uh, kick up the ass that I think we actually needed. Because um, I think from there we just seemed to come into life once again, and uh, Wheelstone's lead was. Pretty short lived, uh, Conor McBride uh, scoring from the edge of the air, and uh, not long after that, uh, we found ourselves 2 1 up, and uh, it was McBride again, and uh, it was a fantastic run and shot and finish. And uh, from there, we still had uh, like 10 minutes of normal time, then another six when the injury time board came up. But uh, Wheelstone never really threatened uh, once we got uh, 2 1 up, and uh, I think we managed to, uh, you know, I think we got. 
the game management right, which is uh, something that you know I've been screaming out for for the majority of the season, as you'll probably know if you watch these videos on a regular basis. Um, so yeah, um, I think the main takeaway from me for that tonight is the fact we have won without being spectacular. Um, but it was a pretty you know gritty kind of game at times, especially. In the second half, as I said, when we maybe you know, lost our way a bit, we were giving the ball away a bit too cheaply, uh, giving chances away a bit too cheaply. Um, but we found a way to uh, turn it around and uh, ultimately it is about three points, no matter how you get them. And uh, you know what, for what it's worth, um, I think it, even at this early stage, I think our goal difference is that good anyway. Um, I think, you know, um, <laughs> I think I think we can maybe afford to you know, win by by just the one because um, uh, I think come the end of the season, if goal difference is going to be a factor, that could be something that really like works in our favour. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, just happy to get to get the three points, and uh, like it was a bit of a brutal watch at times, but we got there. Um, but that is that for this video and I'll be back tomorrow and uh, when I said I was going big this season I weren't lying. Um, it is, we, I am currently uh, about to get a mega bus down to Manchester Airport then tomorrow we are going to sunny Spain and to Atletico de Madrid versus Feyenoord in the Champions League so uh, really excited to bring that video to you. Um, like, like we have a lot of non-league on this channel, we have a lot of grassroots, but uh, tomorrow we are going pinnacle. But until then, take care, cheers for watching, enjoy the rest of the evening, see you later.